Um, okay, so as Jeff said, he set up the, our units as he, he wrote a unit that um, dealt with placing numbers in the number line, so placing fractions, decimals, positive and negative numbers on a, de on a number line. And I know you didn't think you're going to be, you know, discussing these awesome topics this early in the morning, but it's pretty powerful for a middle school teacher to start hearing your students actually talk about these numbers and understand what they are. Because year after year, we deal with these kids who get numbers and these kids that don't get numbers, but we never really deal with the subtleties of all these different numbers. And some kids just were never explicitly taught that. So um, with joining our units together, um, I've really seen a transformation how my students see numbers, just as Jeff was saying. Um, this, so he set up the unit with um, discussing what numbers is, and then my unit dealt with um, what happens when you start operating with these numbers. So um, I'm going to talk to you guys about the concept of adding and subtracting positive and negative numbers. Um, and if you can think back to whenever you learned that, maybe it was ninth or seventh or eighth grade, um, you probably remember some rules, and you probably remember maybe using some counters to deal with this concept, but it's such a hard concept for kids to understand. What does it mean to subtract a negative number or add a, um, or add a negative number? Um, so I'm going to talk about this problem, 4 plus 3. Um, what I found is that a lot of kids don't understand that, they, they understand 4 plus 3 as putting four things together with three things together. But using um, Jeff's unit, kids understood that we can view 4 plus 3 as 4 on a number line added to a distance of 3 getting to 7. Um, which is, seems obvious, but a lot of kids don't have that. And it's such an awesome concept that kids can grasp. So then when we move to 4 plus negative 3, it's 4 on a number line added to um, 3 going in the opposite direction, getting you to 1. And um, kids got that very well. Um, so then when I said, okay, let's do 4 plus 3 again, they put 4 plus 3 on the number line. Um, and then I said, let's do 4 plus negative 3. They could do that on the number line, it's 1. And I said, what's 4 minus negative 3? And I had four kids tell me that, oh, you just flip the negative 3 to positive 3, making 7. And then four other kids said, so subtracting is like adding, wait, now I'm getting confused. <laughs> <laughs> subtracting is like adding the opposite. And yes. to have kids come to that understanding on their own is the most powerful thing as a middle school teacher that I've seen happen. And you know, you can pick out any um, curriculum book and they'll deal with this concept and they'll tell you, just ask the kids, you know, how are addition and subtraction alike? And you'll kind of, you know, force one kid to say it and then other kids will be like, yeah, subtracting is like adding the opposite. But the kids came to understanding alone and it, it goes to show that if you spend enough time um, thinking through these very simple concepts and sequencing them and you understand as a teacher why they're sequenced that way, powerful learning and um, teaching can happen. Thank you.